Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick little wine test on the iPhone 8 Plus and the Note 8 because I haven't done any water tests on them yet so I wanted to see uh, if they can handle uh, Shiraz here uh, which is a very nice tipple so we're going to uh, see you know where the IP uh, rating in action here because I think this has IP67 uh, so not quite as high as the Note 8 uh, so that uh, you know is a little bit worrying, but nevertheless, uh, you know, can uh, they uh, be quite nice under wine? We're going to see. Uh, I'm going to see obviously the speaker as well and the touch recognition. So let's just uh, do the uh, honor here, uh, opening it, and also we're going to time it for three minutes using Old Faithful. Uh, which is the S7 Edge. So, three, oh, three, two, one, let's go. Isn't that a delicious color? Gotta say. I'm getting it all over my table, which isn't good. And let's start the clock. So you can see we are timing this. Oh, that smell. It's too early for this. Uh, so, as I said, we're going to keep them in there for about three minutes or so. So we can see they are definitely wine resistant. Oh, don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to have to get that out of the floor. This isn't going to be fun. So let's uh, just zoom in here a little bit. So you can see. I'm just going to flip the Note 8 as well. And I gotta say, you know, even though these phones are claiming to be waterproof, etc., I always still get uh, a little bit cringy when doing these tests, and that's why we do them, just to make sure here uh, to see. And I wonder if the new iPhone 10 also will have. Uh, a good uh, water resistance, it better do, given the price that they're charging for these phones. It would be pretty bad if they didn't. So the screens are still on, which is good. Always a good sign, but if there's going to be a problem, it usually comes uh, later on. So who's going to win this one? It's going to be pretty interesting, got to say. Uh, obviously, we have kept the uh, the S Pen in the note, but I did do a test. Uh, you can see we have a warning message on the note here uh, about moisture, and the moisture tends to stay in the actual phone for quite a while. So, you know, you might want to uh, bear that in mind before you charge it if you do get it wet coming up for two and a half minutes now uh, with Old Faithful which we did dunk in a lot of different uh, substances and it still works perfectly Samsung really up their game when it comes to the uh, you know waterproofing etc and are we at three minutes yet ten more seconds or oh, it's going to be interesting and yep there we go so you can see three whole minutes uh, so we're just going to try and get these out here as uh, nicely as possible and we're first going to check out the touch response uh, so we can see you can see a very nice touch response on the iPhone 8 plus uh, which I do have uh, 
an iPhone 8 Plus before you say this is like a iPhone 7 Plus you can see this is the new iPhone and what about well no I don't want to update Bixby what are you doing <laughs> I've been trying to avoid that uh, let's have a look at the cameras here so a little bit hazy on both of them but I'm sure you can take a shot as you can see which is nice uh, let's check out some speaker here oh what we got we got GTA <laughs> we do have GTA so a little bit muted here on the uh, note but it does work which is good and the iPhone so you can see works perfect a little bit of Shiraz on the screen but I don't think it's at full volume I do think it's a bit lower but maybe it'll come back to normal when uh, we do dry it down a little bit uh, so yeah you know uh, just a quick little video here checking out the wine resistance on the new iPhone 8 plus and the note 8 I will keep an eye on them you know and report if there's any issues uh, but yeah just a quick video here hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one cheers